In this video, I will show you top five mistakes new embroiderers make. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Darcy from Z Digitizing. Before we continue, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos. In the beginning, it is common to create mistakes in embroidery work since we are not mindful of what might go wrong or what seems to make the situation way better. So it is best to avoid embroidery mistakes before they happen instead of wasting time, strength, and cash to settle them. A few mistakes are more considerable, so we have made a list of them so that you can save your time and disappointment. Choosing the inappropriate transferring method. There are numerous ways of transferring your design from paper to fabric. You can use easy wash or water soluble pens over your material. In case they are not accessible, utilize a pencil. Avoid permanent markers or permanent pencils. In some cases, it won't matter if the transfer lines are lasting as your sewing will cover all the lines. If your design lines are not entirely covered, then select a transfer method that can be removed when your work is completed. Ceramic chalk pencils and water soluble color pens can be utilized. Using the wrong needle. Focus on two things when selecting embroidery needles, the type and the size. With your project, the choice of needle is significant. If the needle is too big, it will create holes in the cloth where the needle and thread come in or out. It would be difficult to thread and pull the needle through the fabric if the needle is too small. Similarly, do not use a blunt needle over a finely woven fabric such as cotton or silk. It will not only flow easily and ruin the fabric. Instead, there is a perfect needle for knots and stitches called the straw needle. This needle is ideal for going through twisted stitches. It is also essential to select the needle you want. If you choose to pierce the cloth, you can choose a sharp needle and use the ball nose as you try to slide through the holes in the fabric. Try a much bigger needle. That would split the fabric. That makes it possible for the thread to move through. Choosing the wrong fabric. Remember the sort of embroidery you have in mind before starting on any fabric design and then decide which materials can help you produce the best results for that type of stitching. Using an embroidery fabric with a low thread count will lead to poorly formed stitches and breakable fabric would not even be the right option. You could compromise on the consistency and ultimately these fabrics may not reflect the effort you would put into stitch. Heavyweight linen or good cotton fabric will be great for embroidery work. Clumpy long threads at the back. It happens when the backside of your thread tangles but you don't notice it and you proceed to sew joyfully. You can create big knots and clumps of thread behind the frame if you do not work carefully. Longer threads seem to be more often tangled leading to annoying twists and you waste time attempting to pick out knots. If you're just starting up, you should look at the back of your hoop before and after. It doesn't take much time and in the long term, you might save your reasonable time. Failure to read instructions. Always read the instructions before you move forward. The easiest way to prevent errors is to always read the entire list of instructions for every project before starting the project. One of the significant errors that arise when you miss reading the instructions is to use the incorrect thread or number of strands of embroidery floss. Then before continuing, read forward to the next section until you finish a small portion of a design. Conclusion. Never fear a mistake. Even professionals can make errors. It is always just a matter of mindset to turn a failure into a positive result. Try to modify and interpret the mistakes as a learning lesson or even a chance to develop new strategies. Do you need a digitizing service for your embroidery machine with super fast turnaround and excellent quality? Just click the link below and get a free quote in less than five minutes. Hope it will be helpful for you guys. If there's any questions related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.
And finally, thanks for watching.